Good morning everybody and welcome back. It is Michael from Hollowed Thrills back with another video and if you know anything about coasters you may be able to tell where we are from the coaster behind me as this is one of the greatest entrance coasters of all time as far as looks go. That's Gatekeeper behind us which means we are at none other than Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. To our left is Lake Erie. To our right, well, and behind us, a large collection of top coasters in the world. Super excited to be here. This is my first time here. We are getting all of the coaster credits today. That is our goal. We are here super early because uh, early entrance is today. Uh, early access is this morning. Um, we're coming in soon, uh, but I'm here. We have a plan. We're going to get a ton of coasters this morning. Our plan is here we go. Ready? We're going Millennium Force straight to Maverick and then getting in line no later than 10 for regular entry to get into Steel Vengeance. The Steel Vengeance isn't going to be open this morning, I believe. So we got to get all that stuff done. Maybe a couple rerides. It's going to be a little bit of a weird video because I'm going to have to be taking you guys in and out of lockers all day, but I'll try to keep you up to date as much as I can because there's a ton of coasters to get to today and not a lot of time. But before we get into it, please make sure you're subscribed and have those bell notifications turned on to get notified whenever I post a video. And also make sure you're following me on both Instagram and Twitter. The links for both of those are going to be down in the description. So, without further delay, let's go. And we are in for early entry. So, look, we looked at the early entry rides. Um, Maverick is closed, but we are going to still do Millennium Force, then over to Magnum. Then get in line for Steel Vengeance. That's the goal right now. Out of, out of breath. Just had to sprint ahead of people so I could at least be able to relax and slowly make my way to Millennium. I don't know why this keeps happening to me, man. Millennium Force, it's down for right now. So we're putting our stuff in lockers. We're gonna run over to Iron, Dra Iron Dragon because that's open for, open for early entrance. Then we're gonna come back and hopefully it's open by then. All right, so we're off Iron Dragon. Uh, my first aero suspended coaster. It's not bad. Uh, it was actually pretty smooth. I was surprised. And I really love the, the helix turns over top of the water. That was actually super cool. Um, Millennium Force still down. So we're going to head over to Magnum to hopefully get a ride. I hope it's open. It should be for early access, but we'll see. Because clearly Millennium isn't open for early access today. Um, but after that, we're going to run over to Steel Vengeance probably just to get in line ahead of time. And here is Top Thrill Dragster, closed for the 2022 season, and in my opinion, I don't think she's going to be open for the 23 season, or any season after that, because unfortunately, I think, I think that, uh, that accident may have uh, taken it completely out. There's too much stuff going on with it for them to be, even consider reopening it. Let's be honest. Rest in peace. So Magnum is a aero hyper coaster we just got off of it and it's cool it's super long i loved a lot of elements of it but my only gripe with it is that the lap bars just crush your thighs on those bunny hills it is it's not it's not great but um my cool my coolest the, like the coolest part of that entire ride though is probably the um that last tunnel at the end where it has the lights and everything i thought that was a really nice touch but now it is 9:45, and we are heading to get in line to get in line for steel vengeance because you got to get there early or you're gonna have to deal with the long waits but after steel vengeance we're actually gonna keep you guys in the locker and then ride maverick and then you guys will get my review on both of these coasters that i am extremely hyped for let's go there she is steel vengeance the pinnacle of RMC hybrids. The greatest coaster that people say of all time. And it's almost time for me to finally get to ride it. And we'll see where I rank it. Well, my luck has been absolutely insane with coasters so far these last couple of months. Steel Vengeance is not gonna be opening on time. And according to the lady at the entrance of Maverick, Maverick has been closed for the last two days, and they're having another person check, out, check it out today, so they're really hoping to get it open later this afternoon, but they said it's not looking likely, so it's, today's, today's already off to a bad start. 
Missed out on Millennium Force because it wasn't open yet. Steel Vengeance is going to open at, on the scheduled time. Maverick may not even open today. I'm, I'm at a loss right now. This, this isn't turning out to be that great. Um, I'm kind of lost where to go next from here. Maybe Gemini, and then hopefully by the time we're done with Gemini, when it opens at 10, that Steel Vengeance is open. I, I'm kind of lost uh, for words right now. I'm... Get, get your shit together, Cedar Point? Or, I, I don't know. Like, so far, you guys are supposed to be, like, the best park. Right now, you're, you're kind of shit. Your maintenance team is, uh, is uh, not doing too, too hot. Like, come on. Uh, I don't know what strike we're on today for Cedar Point. Uh, we went to Gemini. Gemini doesn't actually open until 10, or not 10, 11. Like, an hour after opening, so why would, why would you do that? That doesn't make sense. Especially if every other coaster is down. That's ridiculous, but we're gonna head back up to the front. Maybe we can get the rides on those three that are up there Raptor, Valraven, and Gatekeeper. Because at this point, I'm, we keep striking out. It's not good. I repeat, this is not a drill. This is not a drill. We just saw people on, on Millennium as we're walking by as the first train of the day finally after almost an hour and a half of the like early entry and now the park now being open. So we're gonna run over there instead, instead of going up to the front. It happens, it happens, but we'll, we'll try to still make the best of it today. Millennium Force, finally done. It was down for a decent amount of time when we were in line, probably about half an hour. But in that time, Steel Vengeance is finally open, so we are going to hightail it over there as fast as we can and try to get a ride on before the lines get extremely long. Right now, according to the app, it's 75 minutes, so we'll see. But um. Millennium Force, another giga in my list of ones that I've been on. I think that's number three or number four. It's a good ride, um, super long, and really I love the the bank turns through the tunnels. Super awesome. Probably, maybe top fifty, maybe top twenty-five. I mean, it, it was a good ride. I really enjoyed it. But we're gonna run over to Steel Vengeance now. Hallelujah, she's open. The coaster's going up now. Let's get in line, quick. So, after an extremely long wait, including numerous downtimes while in line for Steel Vengeance, we finally got on. And I rode in the back, I had to get that back row, they allowed me to, to request the back, and it's been a long time since I've been that speechless after a coaster. Fury was great, don't get me wrong. Fury was a fantastic coaster, I loved every second of it, but I have never been that speechless with a coaster, and this is very, very argumentative, but here, when people bring up the comparison between Steel Vengeance and Iron Gwazi, there is absolutely no contest. I'm sorry, Gwazi compared to Vengeance is nothing, which means Vengeance is a thousand times better. Like, I, it's, I, I don't know what else to say, man. That coaster is fantastic. Numerous inversions, the ejector airtime on that, the floater moments, the whippage on it. I, that was not, to coin what they say about uh, Big Thunder Mountain at Disney. That was in tr truly, in fact, the wildest ride in the wilderness. That, that's, that's my new number one. I'm sorry, without a doubt, that's my new number one. I, there's not even a question about it anymore. I, I needed to take a moment to sit down and just talk about it because that's that's an out-of-body experience, that coaster. And similar to Fury 325 where I'm like, you have to go to this par that park to go to go and ride that. It's like, without a doubt, you have to go. This is another one. You have to ride this in your lifetime because that, that's something else. All right, we're going to try to take a little break, try to recover from what we just experienced. Going to get some food. I think there was a barbecue place over by um, Top Thrill that looked really good, so uh, that's what I'm feeling right now, so we're gonna try and get some of that. Maybe some burn ends, hopefully. Ask and you shall receive. Burn ends. And we got potato wedges and mac and cheese and cornbread. I'm in heaven right now. Let's dig in. Just finished up lunch at Backbeat Barbecue, I think is what it was called. Those burn ends were delicious. The fries were delicious. Everything was delicious. I'm very full, and of course we're just going to keep going on roller coasters because I just want to make myself sick. That's how it works. But uh, I think we're going on Gemini next, which 
has some weird sentimental value uh, to me just because it you know if you know those like arcade games that used to like you used to be able to ride coasters virtually well that was one of them and so was blue streak i believe so i'm 100 percent excited to go on gemini finally done gemini two for two on this trip so far with dueling coasters that exist at parks we won last time at kennywood and now we won with gemini red side rules we were in the front led the team the victory we destroyed them we got the dub but uh we're gonna continue getting some of the smaller coasters um i think the cedar creek coal mine i think is what it's called is next and then we'll get our kitty credit from here maybe a woodstock express because i think it's over here as well mine train off the list the kitty coaster woodstock express checked off the list we're flying through some coasters we got five and a half hours left till close with i believe six coasters that we can realistically get on because either they just don't allow us on them or they're currently closed for maintenance we'll see if we can get it done and also get a night ride on steel vengeance it's gonna be interesting we're on a time crunch but we're heading to corkscrew next to get another to get a ride on that but first let me do a review it's a kitty coaster was express absolutely great i mean it was very smooth i enjoyed it um now the, the the gold rush or gold mine or cold coal mine i can't remember eh no i don't like mine trains they hurt because the the their mechanisms are just there for the lap bar just not great here is corkscrew our next coaster let's go it says uh 15 minutes hopefully it's less than that and as we leave corkscrew behind us after finally getting off of it it was a little bit longer of a wait than i thought um but it's not bad um, those are normally inherently rough, let's be honest, so, eh, but it's a good coaster and we got the credit, so we're just gonna move on and leave it at that. Um, we're gonna check out Blue Streak and maybe Val Raven, depending on what the weights are, because unfortunately Gatekeeper is down right now, and so is Raptor, so, it, people, stuff has just been coming, going down a lot today, so it's not been a very good maintenance day for, for Cedar Point. Well, I checked in with the people out from side of Maverick a little bit ago um, before we started heading across the park. And they said, don't hold your breath for today for Maverick. It's probably not coming today. They said maybe tomorrow, fingers crossed, but they said it's not definitely not today. Um, but as we were actually walking over to Blue Streak, which is right over to the right of us, we saw Raptor go. So we're gonna get in line for Raptor instead since it just reopened. There is Raptor. A lot of people's favorite B&M Inver. I'm excited. Um, it reminds me of Hydra, kind of, just because of the colors, but I'm excited for it. Well, this is what happens when it's your first time at the park. We took a wrong turn, and we're over by Hell Raven and Blue Streak still. So we're just going to go in line for those instead. We'll get Raptor eventually. All right, we got off of Blue Streak and Val Raven. It's time for a little story time. Val Raven was supposed to be, like, an hour and 15 minute wait turned into a two hour wait because the entire park lost power awesome isn't that great i love that i'm having the greatest luck today here at cedar point with coasters being open it's been fantastic i absolutely love it totally not mad at all but anyways blue streak it was okay it's a wood coaster it wasn't that rough i actually really enjoyed it val raven now i've ridden that has been now my third dive coaster i've been on and it's the worst out of the three. There's no splashdown feature, automatically makes it the worst out of the three. Uh, Shikra and Griffin are both exponentially better. But now we have three coasters left to get. Raptor, Gatekeeper, and uh, Road Room. That was the last three, so we're heading over to Raptor now. All right, with a little under two hours left of operation. We just got done Raptor, fairly good. B&M Invert. I wouldn't say it's the best. Montu and Alpine Guy is still better. It might be three, might be four. I'm not sure, but it's it's a pretty decent one. Uh, I see the gatekeepers finally open. As tempting as it is, we might save that for our night ride and head over and get Roguru, the other of the two coasters that I still need to get here. So let's do Roguru and then Gatekeeper. And honestly, if we still hopefully have time, we might be able to sprint back and get a night ride on Steel Vengeance. And we made it to Roguru. Roguru, formerly known as Mantis, used to be a stand-up coaster. The track used to be black. 
And pretty much what they did, they repainted the track to this nice orangish red color and changed the trains from stand up trains to B&M floorless trains. So you'll probably notice that this layout looks very similar to a stand up, but it's actually a floorless. Alright, well, Road Guru was by far our shortest wait today, um, but still, it doesn't matter if it's stand-up, it doesn't matter if it's sit-down floorless, it's still a headbanging machine. I, uh, my head was bouncing back and forth the entire time, so not ideal. Uh, headache, I feel the headache coming on, but we got one more ride to get. Gatekeeper, and as long as it is, knock on wood, not over an hour wait, we might be able to make a mad dash back and get a line uh, in line for Steel Vengeance for a night ride. We made it. The promised land. Gatekeeper, our last coaster that we definitely need to get today, and the last coaster in the lineup that is open today. We did it. I can't believe we did it. And with 30 minutes to spare, so you know what that means. It's night ride on Steel Vengeance time, because we got plenty of time to get back there and get in line before they close it off. But. Let's talk about Gatekeeper. Gatekeeper, we got a, we got a semi-night ride on it because it, it turned dark as we were in line. For my first B&M wing coaster, I really enjoyed it. I loved the head chopper effect on those keyholes right at the front entrance. And overall, it was a really nice ride. Um, the back half of the layout was really slow, I will have to say that. As soon as you hit those, those trim brakes at the back, it entirely kills your momentum. But not a bad ride nonetheless. But like I said, it's night ride on Steel Vengeance time. Let's go. And we got our night ride on Steel Vengeance. I am completely exhausted. I have a headache, but we finally did it. We did everything. We got a night ride on Steel Vengeance and we have the all clear. And the all clear means that we are out of here. Ah, oh, this was a fantastic day. In the end, and it was a fantastic day. With Against all odds, we got everything done with stuff being down and stuff like that, but it happened, we made it, and I'm here. But if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you drop a like and also comment down below where park, what park we should go to next. But right now, we're gonna get some sleep because our next stop is Kings Island. But as always, I'm Michael, this has been Hollow Thrills, and I'll see you guys next time.